Hi, welcome to the Art Center series of the Art of Making. These classes are designed for artists lovers just like you and me. My name is Adriana Sandoval, and today I'm going to teach you how to create an ofrenda for the day of the day, which is coming now on November 2nd, very soon. An ofrenda is a collection of objects placed in a ritual altar with uh, the four elements that are air, wind, fire, and water. As us Mexicans and Mexican, we like celebrating the life of our loved ones that are not here anymore. It can be your pet or your grandpa or somebody you love. In this case, I'm gonna make this for my little cat, Angie, Angie who passed away already. But I love her so much and I remember so many beautiful things about her that I'm embracing her doing an altar which is gonna be um, putting a lot of colors, flowers, fruits, water, you will see. Are you ready to make it? Excellent. So we're gonna do recycling materials like this box. I already painted, so I am ready for you to show you how to start. And if you wanna make it a little easier, you can do construction paper, colorful construction paper, and you can trace the box, cut it, and you can put it as a background. I'm gonna do it in a minute. But let me show you a product that is already finished. This one was made for Frida Kahlo. As you see, the name is on the top, it says Frida Kahlo. We're gonna use Model Magic to sculpt the sugar skull. And we're gonna feature elements like fruit, in this case is the Mexican flag, we can use papel picado or something for the wind to embrace uh, that element. You know, tissue paper, you can just cut it and place it in the top of your box. It can be like this, for the wind element. Um, but the most important thing is that it's gonna be a place for you to pray, remember and to have fun. We're gonna have fun in a month. So let's go to the other lens and I'm gonna show you the materials. Okay, so these are the materials. We have here Model Magic. Model Magic is a material very similar to uh, Play-Doh. You can sculpt the dry like Play-Doh and it's really easy to work. It dries super fast. Well, it is going to take maybe a, a few hours, but it's very easy to work. It comes in different colors and we're going to start with the white one for the sugar scope. We're also going to need paint. You can use any acrylic paint and your thick brush to be able to, to paint your box, as I was telling you. So you're gonna paint basically the edges of the box. You need scissors, glue, flower, flowers. You can use fabric flowers. You can go to the dollar store and get these uh, marigolds that are very famous for that particular time, again the acrylic colors, and rhinestones, any any object that you would like to make it look more brighter will be great. And as you know, the design of the sugar skull is made out of um, this white material. So here are some of the ideas for you. For the decoration. They come with flower eyes, with hearts, with many, many colors and designs. These are some stickers, super cool stickers, but always the eyes are like kind of flowery. All right, so have your model magic ready. Now what you're going to do is gonna make a ball. Try to, uh, 
knead it so it gets the texture that you want. And once you're ready, you make a bowl. And you start making a cookie, a patty cake, patty cake cookie, something like this. And then, depends how flat you want it, maybe a little more. You press just softly with your hands and you have the round part. And you're gonna start pressing the bottom part to create this cold shape. Here you go. It's coming along right here. And you're gonna use your two thumbs and press the sockets, the eye sockets right here. Or you can use your fingers, your little fingers, depends on the size, <laughs> whatever you want. Perfect. And for the teeth, you can use, I just use the, the back of the paper that I cut but you can also use toothpicks. Toothpicks are great for this. But honestly, anything, when you're creative, you find a way to make things happen. All right. Now for the nostrils also, you can use like the back of your paintbrush. That also works. So here you go. You have your skull ready now since it's gonna take some time to paint it i recommend you to put it close to the air conditioner when it gets some wind the air will dry it faster so well, here we go the sugar is cold so remember cookie make like a cookie shape and then from there you pull the tip part then you press down for the sockets and the rest, just make it with a toothpick or anything you want. When you have it ready, you can put in, in, inside the rhinestones. You can add the flowers. And you can color with Sharpie. Sharpie markers are great for that. You can go ahead and color the eyebrows or any design that I showed you before that you want to do, it will go here. I don't recommend you to do it right now because it's, it's soft and it will not take the color the same way. Okay? So what we get for this ready to dry, um, let's cut the cardstock to put inside our box. I already traced it. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut the edges. Remember, to when you trace, you're going to have to cut a little smaller so it really fits inside your box. And we use very happy colors, Mexican colors, you know, the hot pink, the purple, the yellows. You can add some glue in the bottom. I love tacky glue. Tacky glue is my favorite because it really dry fast and it's a really thick glue to use. You can also use Elmer glue or even though you can, you want hay. You can also do tape. Put some double tape in the back. In each corner. In this case, maybe Elmer's glue will be faster too. But the tacky glue is more for details. So it goes like this. I have my fur plate ready. Then, you're gonna put your sugar skull right in the middle. If you want to add three-dimensional layers, you can add another color here. So it gets vibrant. Mm, I think I'm gonna go for the pink. So we add another layer. Oh, 
Or I just got an idea right now. You know what? I'm gonna make a heart. It's like a heart frame on this pink for my beautiful skull. So to make a heart, you fold your paper in half. Get your marker ready with your pencil and you can go and do a half shape of the heart and just cut it in half. It's gonna be more interesting than this. So I put my tape or my glue. And then I can glue my sugar skull. So once it's starting to get ready, you also can make little fruits. Like I can do bananas or I can do flowers. This material is really, really easy to use. So you can start setting up the different colors. Thank you. And the flowers by just rolling little balls. And then you press like the cookie shape again cookie shape, and you're gonna start putting them together like this. Press, press, press. That sticks together very easy. So it can be here. And then I pick another color for the center. Just put it on the center. So you can make a bunch of pumpkins like leaves, decorative uh, objects that are gonna make this much more colorful and pretty. I'm gonna make like a little leaf here by pinching the dough and put it on the back here. Another green or you can mix the greens to make it more interesting. And you start putting the leaves around your flower. And like that, you can go on and on in the different places of your, of your box. And then when it's the time to do the eyes, pick any, maybe a big rhinestone here. I can use for the eyes. Of course, I want a contrast color, maybe some pink, some blue, you know, right in the middle of the eye socket. So you start making your skull. Here I have this basket, this box with flowers and colorful ornaments that we're gonna be using in our box. So again, you can put, put them on the corners. You can go ahead with this. You can add on top. And you can go on and on. 
with so many different ideas. But here I have my final product. It took me more time than 15 minutes, of course. I add some ornaments from Mexico called Milagros. I make some roses, roses flowers right here. And I really recommend you to do the four elements. When you find a spot, you can put the water next to the altar. You can light up an incense or also a candle, one of these little candles. You go ahead and put it in the box on the bottom here. So it looks beautiful at night. I don't really recommend you to use real ones, the two, the two ones, because I'm sensitive of you have to be careful and mindful when you use fire. So these are good options. The battery operated candles always give you a safer use. So let me go back to the other side so I can say goodbye. Thank you for coming and join us. I hope you make a beautiful sugar skull. And your altar will look very authentic. Don't forget to always put your signature, your special details. Thank you for joining and I hope you have a wonderful activity and celebrate the loved ones that are not here anymore, but we still remember. Bye-bye.